Hey, what's up guys? It is here and welcome back to another video. So today we're playing a different game, which is actually fairly new as well, and it has sort of become a hit. So this game, for whatever the reason, which I don't really understand, I don't know, we're gonna talk a little bit about that later, has 50 to 60 thousand players literally at all times. And yeah, I personally don't see why so many people play this game. But anyway, so most of you guys might have probably seen it by now. I don't know. Uh, the, the game is called Punch World Simulator, and as you can probably guess by the name, uh, you are literally just uh, punching walls. So anyway, this is the starting uh, zone, and uh, like I said, pretty much the gameplay is just punching walls. So as you can see here, you start out right here, and you basically just uh, smash the walls. And at the end of uh, pretty much like this tunnel, I guess, you just uh, get one win, right? Like that's the very first uh, thing. So that's pretty much like the main idea of how the game plays. Uh, you're just punching, going all the way to the end, you're getting wins. And with wins, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Primarily, you need wins to unlock uh, the next areas and so on. And then you're using the wins to actually hatch pets right here, which uh, are increasing your multipliers. We're gonna about talk about pets in a little bit. And in order to actually get strong, you need to train here, so you need to just come here and uh, start like punching on this uh, punching bag and that's how you increase your strength, which you see at the top of the screen pretty much, so that you actually do more damage to these walls. So I progressed uh, fairly a lot, I would say, in this game actually. And yeah, so my stats are very, very inflated, as you can obviously tell by the numbers. We also do have rebirths in this game and this is pretty much how rebirths work. Use strength to rebirth and yeah, you just increase your multiplier as you guys can probably tell. I've currently done 19 rebirths, which is uh, quite a lot, I would say. And yeah, besides that, uh, we have the pets. We're going to talk about the pets in a little bit as there is uh, quite a few things going on with the pets. So we're going to talk about them in a little bit. And we also have trails. Uh, you probably noticed that uh, I leave a green trail every time I run around. So what do trails do? Trails give you attack speed, uh, or rather punching speed, if you want to call it. So they're not that hard to like get. I have uh, currently the last one, which is chunky, 75% speed. And we also have uh, punching gloves, which give you also speed multiplier as well. I'm currently here at the peppermint one. There is three more of them. I could buy this, but I think I'm just going to save for at least uh, the noob ones. They also look kind of funny, I guess. So yeah, they do increase your punching speed. Uh, on top of that, we actually do have a couple of game passes. You see here we have a double punching speed game pass. Uh, not really looking to buy that thing. And uh, yeah, we do have this uh, free gifts thing. Now, as opposed to every other game, this free gifts thing here does, as you can see here, living does recent progress. You see here in the bottom of the chat. So like living does recent your progress. I don't know what's going on here. What am I screen? Okay, there we go. So. I would suggest that if you're like a new player, it might actually be a pretty decent idea to just uh, leave the game and rejoin just to get like those couple like first 500 like strengths. If you just turn out the game, it might help you a lot. We also do have a wheel spin that's like every couple of minutes it resets, as you can see. It gives, uh, it doesn't really give any good stuff. I also have the pet from the spin wheel. I got it, I actually just got it. And why can't I scroll all the way down? Did I delete the pet? I don't even know. I'm pretty sure I didn't delete the pet, but uh, yeah. Did I delete? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on with the inventory. I actually haven't noticed that before. So anyway, back to the pets. Let's talk a little bit about the pets. So as you can see here, we do have a golden machine. And just like you guessed it, boom, 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 boom. You throw in five pets, 20% chance each. With five, you have 100% chance. And craft, successful. What else could it be? And there we go. So we do have a shiny pet. So you see here, happy toaster, 315 multiplier. The normal toaster is 210. So pet goes up by literally 50%. And on top of that, we also do have a void machine, which uh, I guess you could call it rainbow if you want. Uh, also, funnily enough, at the end of the first world, there is a portal that takes you to Sword Fighter Simulator, which has a whooping amount of 11.8 thousand players as of uh, right now. Um, kind of crazy, right? Uh, the game literally dipped down by 10,000 players in the span of five days, which is uh, really, really sad. But anyway, so here we are, off to the portal, uh, World 2, this one right here. 
And we do have the Void Machine right here. So, see here we have only one. And just like Pet Simulator, like it actually takes time to, in order to turn your pets into Void ones. Obviously, we're not going to do it because it is uh, a pretty time uh, consuming process. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much how it works. As you can see here, my candy canes are uh, pretty much uh, all buffed up right now. I have a 1085x multiplier on my candy canes at the moment. So yeah, uh, on top of that, guys, the shiny or uh, the golden and the void machine, we also have yet another method of upgrading our pets. So if I go over here to this uh, angry earth, actually this one, as you can see, uh, 300x boost, it is a rare, obviously, it gives you the, the category. And you see here, its status is currently baby. So if you go here, you see here craft requirement, three out of three, you can craft three babies into a big one. Now, pay attention here, 300x multiplier. If I go here to the big one, the big is 360. Now that is one fifth, if uh, my maths are not wrong. So it's a 20% increase. And then if you have three big ones, so you can see right here on the bottom, you can actually craft it to a huge one. There you go, boom, huge. So 420, again, another 20% uh, on it. So that is uh, pretty good. And yeah, see here, that's uh, pretty much it. Huge is the last one. You can't really go higher than that. So that's also another way of uh, pretty much just buffing your pets furthermore. Now we also do have an Easter event in this uh, game right now. So I'll just go all the way here. We also do have a random portion here to claim. So you see here, I have claimed my portion. Every eight minutes you can get a free portion. And this is pretty much where uh, this uh, like map caps out. And now we do have an Easter event here. I'm just gonna go all the way right there, to the Easter zone. There you go. So you see Easter zone here, uh, Easter egg. This, these are the pets that uh, we have been uh, showcasing, I guess, so far, you can tell. Uh, Easter pets. Now these are actually really good if you farm plenty of them and make them to shine and whatnot. You can also auto delete here by just clicking. I haven't got any snooze mushroom quite yet. And this is the Robux egg, so we're not going to check that out. And yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Uh, progress is a little bit slow right now. I actually need to train uh, because of the rebirths. Like, obviously, rebirths just reset you to zero, as you can probably tell. And yeah, like, in order to progress this map, you need rebirths. So this is going to be even slower. I don't know if that portal is active right there in the back. I wouldn't think so, because uh, as I said, guys, 19 rebirths is actually a lot. At least it's, it's a lot for me. I don't know. Maybe somebody has a uh, higher progress. Let me know guys down below if you actually play this game and what your progress is. But uh, yeah, I would suspect that uh, this is the last. Like, I don't think this portal does anything. Maybe it's uh, reserved for the next update. And yep, so you also do have your auto punch right here. And you see here, like if I do nothing, I turn it on. Like my character is just gonna go and straight up punch. Like I'm not doing anything, just uh, auto punch, which is very nice. And we have also auto train as well, where your guy is just literally just gonna start punching and training. So that is a uh, pretty nice, I guess. Like you don't really have to do all too much about it. And yeah, like this is pretty much the game. Uh, personally, I don't know why the game has uh, so many players. Like it's definitely not a bad game, but at the same time, it's uh, really nothing huge, right? Like it's nothing crazy. It's just like another sim, I guess. Nothing crazy, I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's kind of insane that this game has like such a big player base, like 50 to 60,000 concurrent players at all times. That's uh, pretty wild, I think. And yep, that's uh, I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know down below if you guys have played this game or do you like it, whatever you know, like all of that stuff. Like, how's the game for you? Do you like it? Have you played it? Are you playing it actively or do you just like check it out and whatnot? And yep, uh, so anyway, that was pretty much it, guys. As always, uh, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all on the next video. Take care.